storefront framing system impact applications for performance protection high velocity wind zones. Welcome to Building Knowledge 101. In this video, we look at storefront framing systems impact applications for performance and protection in high velocity wind zones, focusing on the benefits of using natural ventilation. So here's an example of a storefront application. So I've got a store, typical storefront application on the left there, and on the right is a impact rated storefront system. So I want you to take a look at this. This was designed for high velocity wind zone areas, but if you look at it, you can see it's a much more substantial frame section. It's a wider sight line, deeper section, heavier wall section. So you can see this is a much more substantial frame than your typical storefront system. Then also notice, this is wet sealed, so you've got silicone back here. Your gasket here is a spacer to create the correct width and depth ratio for your silicone, then that's wet sealed in. So you've got your outboard sacrificial light here, airspace, then your laminate inner layer, which is giving you the protection. You know, this is a flexible inner layer here. With most the systems as they're adopted and demand increases for additional options, Additional options are tested and added, such as sunshades and operable windows. So here you can see an example of a storefront system that now has a vent included in it. And architects and owners are looking for greater use of natural ventilation, so they want to insert operable windows often into projects. So since we're in high velocity wind zone area, that window has to be impact tested also. So you can see at this example, now we've got a laminate inner, inner layer on an operable window. This is a concealed sight line window. So all the frames to the interior, so it doesn't build up sight line on the outside. We've got an insulated glass unit here with a laminate inner layer. Then notice this is dry glaze. We've got a wet a gasket here. So this is a rigid inner layer here. You use rigid inner layers when you use dry gaskets. So that's another example or option that you have with a storefront system. You can go from dry glazing to wet glazing, and then introduce operable windows into them if you'd like to. And you've got to have an entrance into it. We looked at some examples of entrances a little bit earlier. So here's section cuts through of an entrance set into a storefront system. And then I want you to notice the glass stops here. Notice they're fixed. This is a removable one on the exterior, but the interior glass stops are fixed. So in an impact application, since this is being hit by the flying missile, you don't want the possibility of that glass stop on the interior to bounce out. So they're fixed in place, and then the glass is wet sealed into the door. That's a 9 16 Lamy unit that's used in the door. Then keep in mind you're testing for your doors that you can see here and the surrounding storefront are two different tests. So you're going to look for one test and installation instructions on the storefront frames and then a separate one on the door package. Here's a unique threshold. This is a threshold that's designed in the event that a storm is coming and you've got high blowing water against the front, uh, front of an elevation. This is a threshold that can be manually installed when a storm is approaching and it gives you a better water seal against wind being wind driven rain blowing under a door. So this is one that you have to take down and install in the event of a storm coming, but it prevents water from being blown and driven by the wind under the door. Then here you can see overlapping seals in a pair of doors doing the same thing, added protection for a wind driven storm. High velocity wind zone areas tend to be along the coastal area and there's been large growth in high rise multifamily projects in these areas. Many of these have balconies or doors of some type allowing outset access to the balcony on the outside. Popular application has been sliders. So you can see section cut of a slider here. You can see that when required, steel can be inserted to increase the structural performance of it. We have an insulated glass unit with laminate glass on the inside. So this is a horizontal sliding door designed for high velocity wind zone areas. That is all we have time for in this video. If you'd like to watch more of our 101 video series, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Conair Company, Inc.